Covey is back deep for the Utes, and we're underway. Returnable if he wants to do it from the goal line. The 24-year-old, excellent return man. And he's across the 30 and an excellent start for Utah. Outstanding running back. And they swing him down to Noah Sewell. T.J. Pledger in a running back now, the Oklahoma transfer. He stayed in the block on target, first down and more. Into Oregon territory goes Britton Covey. A shifted tie out. Brown is going to take off running. And he gets nowhere near the line to make for the 18, and that's all. 12 team to make the college football playoff since 2016. On first down for Utah, Tavion Thomas across the 40. Of course, older brother, Panay Sewell, great lineman at Oregon now with the Detroit Lions as a first-round pick. On the end around, the speedy Jaden Dixon. They told us he's the fastest man on the offense. Well, they said he might have a bigger role tonight. Beautiful play call. They faked inside the run and then give it on the outside to Thompson, or Dixon. And they got a nice couple tight ends over on that side to start the formation. Well, three tight ends on the field again. It's a run on the delay. Thomas, the touchdown. And Utah strikes first. Run away from him. Here he is. You're going to seal him with the tight end. You're going to pull the guard and the tight end. Run counter to the opposite side. And Tavion Thompson, Thomas, takes it in for the touchdown. It wasn't even his full-time job. Right? No, he, he gets home job. at night and go paint some of the helmets. Took just about a full year to paint them all. What a great job that he did. They're beautiful. There's Mikhail Wright. So a depleted wide receiver core for Anthony Brown in this Oregon offense right now. Especially when you add in the transfer out of Micah Pittman. Brown on target. Travis Dye. With a lot of motioning, catches the swing pass. He is their leading receiver. Third down and 19. They're at the student section end of the field. Here's Dye. Inside the 20, down at the 18 in Salt Lake City tonight. And that one is blocked. Deflected at the line of scrimmage by Cole Bishop. Last couple weeks, he comes from the outside, lays out, and gets hands on the football and denies Oregon at any point. Thibodeau right now is lined up on the left defensive end, right here. With five out of six on third down. Before this play, and it ends in the arms of Noah Sewell. The ball out, but he was down by contact. The referee, Mike McCabe, right there. Well, we this the is the Sewell. Line. He's not rushing, but he's just going to kind of move along the line of scrimmage with eyes on the quarterback. He shows rush, but he's just kind of watching the quarterback. And then at the right moment, he attacks. When he gets out of the pocket, then he goes. And this guy, Sewell, for a, a 6'3", 250-pound guy. Oregon on offense. Plenty of running room. Here's the speedy freshman, Byron Cardwell. And he's a very quick study. They fake it to him. And Williams did. Three receivers to the right. Brown on third and eight. Forced back, and then he stumbled down. Back at the 48-yard line. Cigarette dangling from yeah. her mouth. Passed away at the age of 94. Apparently the cigarettes weren't that big a deal for her. Nice catch by Brant Keithy, the tight end. They've got those tight ends, and it just their play-action pass game with their run has just been really effective. He throws wide open, man. Here's Keithy again. Chopped down well into Oregon territory at the 27-yard line. Finding a hole and then moving with his quarterback. When he saw Rising leave the pocket, he just uncovered it. It showed his numbers, and that's what you want as a quarterback. In the backfield. Power back, transfer from LSU. Rising, walks into the end zone untouched. Three 
tight ends. Here they are. Watch number 80. This guy, he's going to take his man and block him all the way out of the end zone and out the tunnel. One of only five players in FBS football leads his team in both receptions and rushing yards. He's on the side of Brown. They fake it to him. He stayed in the block. Deep throw and a catch. Chris Hudson with a big gainer inside the 25-yard line of Utah. He bought a little more time. Hudson's in the slot. He runs by his defender right away. And Anthony... All three of these running backs can be productive. Pledger's had three 100-yard games this year. Thomas has had four. Bernard's had two. Here's Keithley breaking tackles. Still on his feet and finally corralled near the 20-yard line. Talked about his versatility. He's lined up as a slot receiver. Gets inside the nickelback to break through arm tackle. 49-yard play. Here's Pledger down to the five-yard line. Defense Corey talking about what a great communicator he was in addition to the five interceptions that was tied for the national lead. That would be a big loss if he can't continue. Hurt while making the tackle. Thomas the running back. Thomas the ball carrier. Thomas the scorer. Touchdown, Utah. Watch this big guy, Bam Olaseni, six foot eight, 330 pounds, just devastate that side of the defense. Davion Thomas was not even touched on his way to the end zone. Great block by the tight end, but an outstanding block by the left tackle, Olaseni. Tight end blocking on Thibodeau, Olaseni blocking on the defensive tackle, and an easy touchdown for the Utah Utes. Nice to... And he knows all their names, right? Yes. Knows them all. That's pretty effective. And he's going to try to return it. Long line drive punt by Snee. Covey! Covey! Highly effective punt return for a touchdown! And a great non-block right here by number two. He doesn't get a bad block. Covey caught that on the right numbers, took it all the way to the left sideline. Why do you call timeout there if you're Kyle Whittingham? You give this guy a chance to get his hands on the football and defending the run. On first and ten, Anthony Brown taken down. Junior Tafuna. What's going on? I mean, here's Tafuna right here. He's just going to come inside, watch the right guard, 74, just kind of whiffs. And whenever that pressure comes right up the face of the quarterback, there's just nothing you can do. You can't slide up in the punt. Alertly called timeout to force the punt on fourth down that was returned for a score by Britton Covey. Brown wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Devin Williams. Watch the corner now. Clark Phillips, his eyes are on the quarterback, and he just kind of stops. He's got deep third responsibility there, and he just allowed Devin Williams to run by him. His eyes were back inside, and that's his responsibility to cover the deep third. He passed away when Britton was 14. Here's Tavion Thomas, highly effective, and out to the 43-yard line. 49 to 14 on that record-setting day for Joe Burrow and his mates. Tavion Thomas, his third touchdown of the game. Tavion Thomas is on his way to shattering the single-season rushing touchdown mark at the University. I asked Matt Boston about that in a moment. Here's a sack. At the 34, the only reason I asked that question is it looked like Matt was looking with interest at that last replay. No targeting there, Matt, on the previous play? Contact at the back of the helmet, but I think most of the contact was in the shoulder. Boy, just another good inside rush by Tafuna. Tavion Thomas. Knocked down from behind. Now a 26-yard try. And it's good. The special teams remain a bright spot tonight. Career wins in 17 years here. 
And really, none bigger on this home field. It's the second time in their school history they beat a top five team at home. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.